Hey friends, welcome to Moving Targets Mobile Axe Throwing. I am excited that you're joining me today. Let's go over the safety rules to this trailer, as well as how to throw an axe so you're a little prepared the first time you show up. Axes and other throwing weapons are sharp. We're going to be throwing axes and playing cards here. Make sure you have flat, closed toe shoes on. And please do not lean on this fence. This fence is made to stop axes and cards, not people. You will see the cones laid out on the closest you can be and the furthest away you can be when throwing your axe. Throw within these zones. If you are throwing, you should be one of only two people in the throwing area. Do not bring food or drinks inside the throwing zone. Keep those out there. So just to cover that one more time, safety zone. If you are not one of those two people throwing, please stay behind the back line. After throwing, do not advance to retrieve your weapon until both participants have thrown. All right, now before we get to showing you how to throw, one more thing about these axes and throwing cards. None of these weapons belong outside of the throwing zone. So if you are done participating for the time being, leave them in the axe rack or on the table. Okay, now it's time to cover throwing. I'm going to show you the two ways that I was taught to throw. Now these are just guidelines to get you started. You can adjust from there. Okay, now let's cover what you're actually here for and teach you how to throw an ax. We're going to start with the two-handed throw. Take your dominant hand, for me, I'm right-handed, place it at the bottom of the ax and your other hand right over top. Now facing your target, feet about shoulder width apart You're going to bring your axe back and you're going to release about eye level. All right, now let's cover the one-handed throw. Now there are many ways to throw one-handed. The way I was taught, take your non-dominant foot, since I'm right-handed, my left foot slightly forward. My right foot still about shoulder width apart. And you're going to bring your arm right back not breaking the wrist, just like when you're throwing with two hands, but you're coming right to the side of your head. Now remember, another thing when throwing these axes, we don't wanna see you throwing at an angle. You wanna be straight as possible. Keep that straight. Keep your arm straight, that ax head straight, whether you're throwing two hands or with one hand. Keep it straight, straight up and down. Now, another thing I wanna mention when throwing on this ax throwing trailer in particular, I only allow you to throw overhand here. There's no, no sidearm, underhand or any of that. This trailer is an overhand throwing whether you're throwing with your cards or axes. Also, if you're having trouble sticking and you're keeping that ax straight up and down, Depending on how your axe is hitting the target, we can move you forwards or backwards in the throwing area to try to get you to stick it. Okay. All right, let's cover retrieving your axe. First off, after both people have thrown and you're going down the lane to retrieve your axe, only retrieve your own axe. Do not pick up the other person's axe and hand it to them. Your job is to take your axe and place it back in, back in the axe stand or on the table. Okay, now let's go retrieve this axe. When you're taking an axe out of the target, lean forward and just wiggle it up and down. No side to side, just up and down, and it'll come right out. All right, now let's throw some cards. Now some people are going to have trouble throwing the axe, but these cards are pretty easy to throw. Now when you grip these, right at the corner is about where you want to hold. Now with this, I do put my front foot forward. You can stand however you want. Really, there's no particular way to stand with you throwing with these cards, as long as you're throwing overhand. A couple things I want to mention with these cards. When they stick on the flat into the target, sometimes they're going to be in there pretty good. And if you can't get them out wiggling them back and forth and up and down, you can take an ax 
and tap it at the top of the card to loosen it up. That is acceptable. Also, sometimes these cards will get a little burr on the corners. Please let me or any of the experts attending the event know so that they can take that card out of play and remove that burr. All right, we've pretty much covered it all. But one last thing as far as throwing goes. When you're throwing an ax, I only want one ax throwing at a target at a time. Now when you're throwing these cards, you can go ahead and throw all five at the target. So as I'm wrapping this video up, remember, it's not just the expert on duty's job to keep you safe. If you see any unsafe acts, please let the expert on duty know. So if you've made it to this part of the video, you did what you were supposed to before showing up to one of my pop-up events. It's not only giving you the safety rules of this axe throwing trailer, as well as a couple tips on how to throw. Remember, this is just a guideline to get you going. You can adjust your throwing motion as you start to figure it out. Now, two last things before I cut this video off. One, fill out that waiver on the website before showing up to the event. Just saves you a little bit of time that day. And two, and I can't stress this enough, please be safe. I know this can get exciting. As you're throwing, sometimes a couple safety rules may slip from your brain. Just try, just do your best to be safe. So thanks for watching this quick tutorial on safety and how to throw from Moving Targets Mobile Axe Rung. Looking forward to seeing you at upcoming pop-up events. And if you wanna book us for a private party, check out the website, click book now, it'll bring you to the calendar and you can see which days are available. I am excited to see you there.